one of the most unusual configurations. One of the first purpose-built fighters. The Vickers Gumbles of 1914. Whilst it did not remotely resemble the modern idea of a fighter aircraft, the Vickers FB-5 Gumbles, FB stood for fighting biplane, was nevertheless one of the first machines to be purpose-built for air-to-air -air combat. Initially ordered by the British Admiralty, the biplane eventually served with both the Royal Flying Corps and the Royal Naval Air Service. Vickers needed to find a way of mounting a forward-firing machine gun that avoided shooting off the aeroplane's all-important propeller. Happily, they resolved this by electing to use a pusher configuration, with the propeller safely tucked behind the wings. The gunner sat in front of the pilot in the nestle, had a satisfactory clear field of fire. Armed with a single Lewis machine gun, the Vickers FB-5 actually went into production before the outbreak of war. It began arriving at the front in February 1915, and the first Gumball's squadron was formed the following July. Neither quick nor agile, the FB-5 initially proved reasonably successful against German reconnaissance aircraft. By the end of 1915, however, the rapid progress of military aviation had rendered it obsolescent. The Gumballs was withdrawn from frontline units in mid-1916. Specifications One 100 horsepower 9-cylinder rotary engine Wingspan 36 feet 6 inches Wing area 382 square feet Length 27 feet 2 inches Gross weight 2,050 pounds Maximum speed 113 kilometers or 70 miles per hour. Endurance four and a half hours. Accommodation two crew. First flight July 1914, and it seems like July seems to be the very best month for testing aircraft. There's so many of these biplanes that actually had the first flights in July that I've been reading about over the past few weeks. I don't know what it is about that month, probably because it's like the middle of summer and the weather's absolutely perfect. But, um, yeah, why not? If you know, leave a comment below. And I will see you on Wednesday. Have a good one. This is one of my all-time favourite First World War aircraft. I absolutely love the look of it. Very unusual. One of the first aircraft I ever saw to do with World War I back when I was 11. Trust me, that was many moons ago. Anyway, um, something that has just sprung to mind while I was making this video is the fact that the gunner sits, of course, right in the front. So what would happen if the aircraft got attacked from, say, behind or below? It seems very vulnerable to me. Whereas, of course, say an SE-5A could just swing around and get on his tail. This doesn't seem to be as agile as one of them. But, um, anyway, I'll leave it up to you to uh, think more about that. See you Wednesday.